Welcome back. In the last tutorial, we looked at how um, we looked at two things actually: intro to arrays in JavaScript and how to create uh, an array, also in JavaScript. Um, the next thing I want to show you is how to access an item um, using uh, the index position. Um, so basically, um, to access means to get. So if I have access to a room, you know, maybe I have the keys, right? I have the keys uh, to a particular room A, a right key to a particular room B. Uh, now, an array, I know we haven't talked about this yet, can contain several items within it. To access each of these items means if I want to access array, any 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 array, any item rather, inside the array, how do I do that? How do I get it? How do I access? How do I check it? Um, this will be what we'll be working on um, on this episode of the tutorial. Okay. So access an array, an array item using the index position. So I'm going to create an array here, variable, my array third, three, is equal to open and close square bracket. And now we can add an item in items rather, and then access uh, and see how we can access each of those items. So let's see, I add rice. Um, corn. Millet. Um, yeah, let, let's say we have three items in the array. Um, how do I use what is known as the index position to access any of these uh, three items in the array? So let me say, let's say I want to access the very first array. Okay. Variable first first item. Okay. Uh, this would be my array three square bracket zero. Now let me go uh, over this. Okay. Um. Let me remove this for now, okay? Let me just leave this. So my array three is this, okay? This is not something new that I have added. What is new is this, square notation with a zero inside of it. The zero inside of it is, well, the square, notation after an array tells you that you want to access an array okay um so for example let's say i have a variable that i haven't declared yet let's say um farmers if farmers were an array having a square bracket in front of that variable is signaling you that you want to access an array, okay? So this is exactly what we've done um, with this. I basically um, write down the variable name um, and then add a square bracket in front of it, and then this zero, which we will need to talk about. So this zero is the first array item. This is because arrays, the positions of the array, because this is important, position, 
the position of the positions positions in an array are based on are, are counted starting from zero. Um, that's how they are just programmed. Okay, so if I want to access rice, and rice happens to be the first item, well, this is how I'm going to do it. I add my my square bracket notation and add zero inside of it. Well, let's see if this is actually true. Let's log out. Um, let's log it out and see. Okay, so I'm going to copy this and log it out to the console and see um, what we have. Um, I expect this to show us rice. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about all the errors as I type before I before I type anything correctly. Um, it arrows out and it tells me um, it all displays all these errors. So this is basically it. We were expecting rice and we have rice. I'm going to clear this. Okay, so let's say I want to access corn. Well, let's count. The first item, uh, item's position is zero. The second one is one. So, so if we want to access corn, we'll write one. Let's see what we have on the console. Here we go. We have corn. Um, if we want to access the last element or the last item in the array millet, well, we count again. The first one is you bet zero. The the position is zero. The second one, the position is one. And the third one, its position is two. So let's put two. I expect to see millet um, on the console. And there it is. We have millet. Now, there is a trick to accessing the last item in the array. Um, I believe it's minus one. That should give us millet again. Uh, undefined. Okay. Um, I was wrong. Um, so for, forget, I, uh, forget I said anything like that. Um, but in any case, uh, we have seen how to access an array using the using its index position. Um, so let's see. Let's go to our table of contents. We uh, we have just completed that. We will loop through an array in the next lesson. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you in the next lesson.